what is up guys welcome back to mr tech boss as you can see i'm running descendants os and finally after a long time the update is here so without any further ado let's get started all right so guys before we actually start please make sure to like share and subscribe and make sure to watch till the end because there's something really really special about this rom so well, let's get to the basics first so if you go into about phone and then android version as you can see it's running the latest security patch which is july 5th and it comes with perf kernel so you if you want to change that which i do not recommend then you can to immense to your iphone xy that's totally up to you and this is Descendants version X. So yeah, with that out of the way, let's get on to the customizations. Cause there's actually no dedicated se section for customizations or there's no dedicated app. So what you have to do is go ahead into, for example, display, and then you have a bunch more options here. So for example, you have thumb UI, which will push everything down and make it easier to use your thumb. And you also have enable QS panel only, and then It'll make this weird QS panel. I don't really know if you want it, but yeah. And then you have the theming options and then you have the styles app as well. So you can customize that as well. And you have some display size settings. And now if you go into lock screen display, these are the here's where the other customizations are. So if you actually say, if you actually want these two options, what you have to do is firstly turn all these on on and then you'll be able to toggle these two things so you can show icon and or, or you can just hide the icon so let me show you so actually there's a bug so let me show you how it, the the bug is so as you can see there's some overlapping so i just recommend not using this always on display on this rom because it is buggy so as you can see with always on display it just doesn't unlock after that so yeah this part is still a bit buggy to be honest i just recommend sticking to just turn off always on display but this option if you do have this icon enabled it does actually work but if you do have the fingerprint icon enabled it is gonna unlock but at the same time even though it unlocks if you say for example i wanna just open the turn on the screen and then unlock this unlock just doesn't work so yeah the always on still is always on display is still bugged but so let's just turn that off for now or actually i need to show you some feature which requires always on display so hopefully when in the next or the next two three builds when this option will be fixed you have this option enable clock flow so here you have a bunch of themes so for example if i choose earth i am really sorry for the background noise there's some work going on i obviously can't do anything but if you do have the earth enabled you can see you have the earth thingy that's rotating and you have a few more options so well let's say if i want to moon it doesn't move or anything but it is working so yeah i just hope that they fix the always on display and then we have a few more options in gestures so you have double tap to sleep and ambient wake gestures so yeah you do have quite some customizations but you don't really need too much because this rom is customized on its own so let me show you some default customization so as you can see this is how the notification panel looks when you expand it you normally expect it to become larger but it doesn't so it is a bit deceiving and also the volume panel you have this tiny volume panel and then you can click this icon which you have to enable in settings by the way so if you go into settings and then sound and then scroll down there's this option volume interface extras so you can just leave it turned off and then there won't be this tiny icon and then you'll just have to tap it and then expand it this way although you do have the option also you have some audio handling options so if you mute the audio there are times when you're watching a youtube video and then someone comes and you, you quickly mute it because for whatever reason i don't know what the reason is so you quickly mute it and then it does actually pause and also this direct sound intenser is working so you do have hi-fi audio options available as well moving on to battery i actually installed it overnight so as you can see the overnight drain is pretty good and then i charge in the morning so the overnight drain is pretty minimal which is a good thing also you have this descendant idle manager it's recommended on i don't exactly know if it improves it by much but yeah so there's also this cool little option or addition they've added so if you hold this on the lock screen you can 
um, change the wait let me just disable the notification first so you just hold on these and then you can change them so yeah as you can see he has done a pretty good job oh and by the way guys there's also this one more really really annoying bug so if you do want to do a screen recording say for example i'm recording my screen it is very very laggy so if i start a screen recording it just becomes almost unresponsive it's very laggy so yeah there is this bug as well and i'm not sure if it's going to be fixed anytime soon so yeah you do need to keep in mind especially if you do a lot of screen recordings so yeah and also the final recording is not 60 fps even though i have set it to 60 fps so yeah just keep in mind before flashing the strong with that being said now let me talk about the most important thing and that is performance so let me tell you guys the performance on the strong is really good like the smoothness is just next level i actually did install pubg to test it out i haven't gotten time but the performance should be pretty good so like um it should be comparable to any other asp rom that is based on perf kernel so you shouldn't really care about performance too much but the smoothness is just so good like when i installed that i was really really surprised like it's very very smooth like it's 50 like 60 fps almost all the time if i can say that and also this um by the way this uh, brightness slider it becomes larger when you tap it and then when you leave it it becomes smaller so yeah that's a great neat little addition i guess and guys if you're still watching thank you please consider donating if you really like my work i have a paypal link down in the description but yeah also subscribe and like this video if you're liking this so far now let's quickly do a super fast app opening test so in the first round i just open the apps normally at normal speed to load them in the background oh and by the way the camera that comes by default is actually anx camera so yeah it works obviously the pop-up camera works too and so let's open a few apps let's not get into photos and then instagram let's just forget about that because there are some bad memes sometimes but yeah so yeah obviously i'm not noticing any frame drops and by the way the stock launcher is the launcher launcher that comes by default on the strong so yeah that's also a neat little feature so you don't have to manually install it because it offers you a lot more customizations and guys let's quickly do a super fast fingerprint test so actually let me tell you guys there is a bug every time unlock or most of the times when unlocking with the fingerprint so as you can see whenever i unlock it just dims the screen for a second and sometimes it just goes like a black screen so if i have for example an app and open and then i open it it just sometimes i don't know why it's not happening right now but what usually happens most of the time it's not happening now is that say i have an app or something like i'm not on the home screen whenever i unlock it becomes blank for a second like not a second probably like 500 milliseconds or maybe even less so yeah there is a fingerprint delay not like the fingerprint speeds actually are pretty good so let's do some fingerprint speed tests and this fingerprint speeds are pretty fine but right now as you can see there is no delay not too much of a delay after the thing recognizes us but usually or at least until now there was a blank screen that comes right up and as always i will be linking this wallpaper down in the description or actually on my telegram group so if you do want some amazing wallpapers or some any tips or any questions if you do have them do join my telegram group from the link in the description below but yeah that is basically about it the rom is really good really smooth has a few customizations not much but i don't really need too much i can use substratum if i do want some other customizations it's just the icons and stuff has been changed by the way face unlock works as well and this rom is being was revived by a really good dev named wajid wajid khan but yeah so yeah he has done an amazing job but yeah if you're still watching thank you please make sure to like share and subscribe and as always stay safe this is that i'm from mr tech boss signing off